while she had gunshot wound to her neck on the side, she could still feel the, uh, the pellets of the you know, gun, gunshot and she's been having pain moving down. She's from Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, and she had a gunshot? Yes. Since during their war time, right in this service, she couldn't feel that pellet she was feeling and the pain suddenly oh, disappeared. Oh, give the king of kings a big... Are you happy? Ta feliz. You are so happy? Ta feliz. <laughs> Can you see the scar of the gunshot? And now no trace of any pain in her body. Will you give Jesus a big hand? For two years now, she has a lump, lump in her breast. She had right a lump in her breast for two years? The lump disappeared. And the lump and vanished? No Will you give Jesus a big hand? Will you give Jesus a big hand? Now hear this and hear me well. There's nothing bigger than God, not even a disease. Every time you see killing, stealing, and destruction, Satan is responsible. But Jesus may say, I am come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. I also saw from 1 John 3, 8, that Jesus also came to destroy the works of the devil. So one destroys, one came to destroy the destroyer. Permit me to paraphrase it that way. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. And I want to say to you, no matter what you're going through, have no fear. Because Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Wherever you are in any part of the world, where Satan has afflicted you with this deadly disease, I want you to stretch your hands towards the screen and I'll pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command everyone under the attack of the demonic disease, be free in the name of Jesus. I cause the root of that disease in Jesus' name. And I command everyone watching right now, be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Previously on Outstanding Miracles with David Ibiomie. I, when I wanted to go to the evening school that day, that very day, this headache was there. I was feeling it. I wanted to take drugs, but I said no. I want to see the God of David Ibiomie. Let him prove himself to me today that if I am healed, then I will come and testify. And through that day, I was so perfectly healed. When I, I, when I went to that place, Papa said, any problem you came in here with, you, you will never go back with it. And I scream, Amen. And that was how it is today. That Wednesday, Friday, Thursday, I look around my body. There was no pain, no, no headache. I did not take drugs the following day. Being, uh, 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 Thursday, Friday, I came back to church and give my testimony that day. And we Just worship him in very low tone. Somebody on that wheelchair get up and run. Get up from the wheelchair and run and you walk. Every sick, check your body, you are healed in Jesus' name. And everyone God healed, I am not the healer. The miracle belongs to you, but the testimony belongs to God. You don't go back with your testimony. There is someone with mass. Here, look at my hand. The lady, you had this visible mass. Palpable mass. Press it, the mass is gone. I know it as I know my name. That mass is gone. Press this part of your body. You had this visible mass. In the name of Jesus. As I'm talking, as somebody healed of hemorrhoid. Somebody with hemorrhoid is healed. When you hear me say someone is not one person, somebody with hemorrhoid with copy is healed in the name of Jesus. I vow never to take your glory as I'm talking. Somebody with a tooth problem, he had in the testimony, said, Lord, what of mine? And as you said, so God heard you. Someone with a tooth problem is healed in the name of Jesus. There's somebody with ringing sensation in your left ear, you are healed in Jesus' name. Someone with a migraine headache is healed in the name of Jesus. Miracles are happening everywhere in the name of Jesus. I, I, I know it as I know my name. Somebody had a hip surgery, this path. You have been in pain since after the surgery. You are healed now in the name of Jesus. 
Almighty God, I give you praise. Every stamina who came today be healed in the name of Jesus. Everyone with a stammering tongue, I decree, speak perfectly in Jesus' name. Father, I vow never to take your glory. My name is Precious Atuze. I just want to say that miracles are real and that whatever God does is forever. 14 years ago, I was pregnant with my first child. I had so many complications. I registered in two hospitals and when it was time for delivery, more complications set in. At seven months, they said the baby was breached. At nine months, they said I had to go through CS because the baby was breached. And then each time I was in labor, I would go to the hospital. When I get to the hospital, labor will cease and the doctors will be angry, saying, Madam, I don't know what is labor. They will send me back home. I'll come back home days later, labor will set in the same thing. And then finally, I was admitted, but not in the normal labor ward. I was admitted in the emergency ward. I was there in pains. Nobody was telling me anything. I just held, hung on to the word of God. And then on the third day, a lady, she came, opened my folder. And then she said to me, Madam, your baby is already dead. Let's see how we'll save your life. I told her, no, my baby is not dead. I came here with my baby and I will go home with my baby. At that point, she became mad. She was like, church people, we have come. Let's see what your faith can do for you. And then she left. I don't know what she wrote in my folder. After she left, every other doctor that came, when they looked at my folder, they would just drop it and go. And at that point, I was weak no strength i couldn't talk i was only communicating to my people through sign i had come to church papa prayed with me and then god started this miracle through one of the doctors he came he looked at me asked me what happened i couldn't talk i was just giving him sign and then he said ah you are one of our praised leaders don't worry god will do something that was how he went brought a doctor from outside and when the doctor came, the first thing he asked me, where do you worship? I wrote Salvation Ministries. He said, the truth is your baby is almost gone. The fetal heart cannot be found. But your pastor is a word-loaded man. Hold on to what you have been hearing. Believe God and let's see what will happen. That was on the 28th of June in the morning. And then I was wheeled into the theater. Because I was already weak, they said they wouldn't give me an injection that would make me sleep, Anastasia. They gave me something that each time I was feeling sleepy, uh, somebody, the doctor was kept to be communicating with me and I will be revived back. And then after the baby was brought out, all I could remember was that there were doctors on cue. When she came out, she wasn't crying. They were throwing her from one person, one doctor to the other, till he got to the last doctor at the door and she was taken to a place called Skipu, intensive care for newborn babies. And I was there. And as they were trying to stitch me back, all of a sudden, convulsion started. And then the doctor in charge asked me again, who is your pastor? Who is with your phone? I wrote down that my pastor is David Ibiomie and that my sister is with my phone. So they sent for my sister, took the phone. And when the phone was brought, he asked me who to call, who did I save? And I told them, Papa, David Ibiomie assigned Pastor Samson to do a follow-up on me. Normally, males are not, except doctors, males are not allowed into the theater. But that day, the God of David Ibiomie broke protocols for my sake. Pastor Samson was allowed into the theater and at that point I was convulsing terribly. And immediately he came in, he just smiled and said, Devil, this battle is already won. And he said, Peace be still. All I could remember was I slept off and when I woke up, I found myself in the world. A week later, my baby was brought to me. We stayed in the hospital two weeks and today, 14 years later, that my miracle is still alive, strong, healthy. Presently, she's in SS2. 
I want to say that the God of David Ibiomie is a miracle-working God. And whatever he does is forever. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Christabel Atsuzili. I'm alive and I'm in SS2. I want to thank God for the miracle he did 14 years ago. I'm strong, I'm healed, and healthy, I'm okay. I was actually supposed to be dead, but here I am alive today, thanking God for what he did. Your mouth is the compass of your whole life. The sound you produce with your mouth determines the signs you see around you. Miracle in Your Mouth, written by David Ibiomie, is that book you need to shape your destiny. In this book, you will learn the creative force of the mouth, tongue, commander of signs, releasing the force of faith, and retaining your miracle. It is that book you need to create the future you've been longing for. Grab your copies at our Knowledge Center, satellite churches, and any leading bookstores around you. To order online, visit www.smhos.org or call 0703-894-5714. The resurrection power can only work for those who are born again. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Let no man deceive you. Hell is real and heaven is real. Pray this prayer after me, wherever you are. You've not accepted Jesus. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I declare you my personal Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from the dead to save me. Right now, with my mouth, I have confessed you. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thanks for watching. 